so hi everyone welcome back to data science in your pocket and we have a big release coming from mini cpm so if you have heard this model particularly it's one of the best edge models and recently they launched their visual model as well and to be honest very underrated people don't know much about it but it's one of the best models to use for and for real world applications and they have released a new series of mini cpm models that is mini cpm 4 and this appears to be the fastest llm that you will ever see and especially designed for mobiles and edge devices as they have mentioned it is about seven times faster than the same models in the same range so let's get started let's try to understand its basic architecture benchmarks and other things so what is mini cpm4 it is ultra efficient llm open source series built on to run fast and lean on end side devices so it's very highly designed for edge devices and if you are using cpus i think you should be overjoyed because such models can run in your cpu as well it is edge optimized as mentioned perfect for mobile chips raspberry pi and embedded boards this is a very important model to be honest they have released the model in majorly two sizes and multiple variants also one is mini cpm 4.5 billion model and mini cpm 4 8 billion model and very interestingly they have released bit cpm 4 so with bit you must be remembering bitnet this is very very similar to that so they have released a model with ternary weights also 0 1 minus 1 only this is crazy and i think i would be covering bit cpm4 separately in some other video but for now let's summarize mini cpm4 talking about the architecture they have introduced a number of new things one is inf llm v2 model tunnel v2 ultra clean data it's a filter and bit cpm4 as i already mentioned so these are the four key highlights from the release i will be talking about them one by one First of all, talking about inf LLM v2, this is specially a special type of sparse attention. So if you don't know, in usual LLMs, we use dense attention. The model looks at all the tokens present, even if they're necessary or not. But in case of sparse attention, that's not the case. It goes for fewer tokens, looks at just the relevant parts and hence lesser calculations. Hence, it can handle longer context dual acceleration and smart learning as here it is mentioned unlike many sparse models that fail at generation inf lm v2 excels at both so it's a type of architecture special sparse attention they have used next is ultra clean data it's a smart filtering system they have used to clean out the raw web data that people use so i'm not jumping much onto it how they have mentioned that like as you can see high quality knowledge dense rich in information and inside the data set and reasoning intensive complex thinking patterns in a traditional approach feed random web data so you take out anything and feed it to the model more tokens are needed and hence inconsistent quality is also there but not with ultra clean approach smart content filtering hence lesser data would be required and better outputs are coming up the third interesting thing is model tunnel v2 i think uh, i was the most impressed by this particular architecture they have mentioned which internally uses an optimization lab which runs thousands of experiments together and then figure out the best training methodology for the model this is very interesting they have mentioned it in quite detail in the research paper so it is used for small model testing run experiments on smaller models first then it discovers optimal training patterns so like for example it is you want to train an 8 billion model parameter it might be running it on 100 million parameter model but on thousands iteration and checking out different approaches whichever approach works fine it is experimenting multiple times in parallel and eventually the best approach is used for the bigger model hence time efficient faster optimization process cost effective also and gives you better performance and last one is bit cpm4 the most interesting part that is they have quantized cpm4 models into bitnet sort of format that is 
just three possible values for the weights minus one zero plus one which is very much similar to bitnet if you remember which was released quite recently when you have very less memory i think your go-to solution should be bit cpm4 it can run on cpus and mobile also as you can see it is ideal for iot devices old phones embedded systems and low power devices why does this stand out because in traditional models the weights uses 32 bit i think if you know to store their values but in case of ternary it is using just one bit as you can see that minus one zero plus one sort of one and a half bits you can say high memory usage low memory usage because see you have reduced it quite heavily from 32 bits to 1.5 to 2 bits complex calculations maintain performance because see once you're using just minus one zero and plus one calculations are also getting lesser complex interestingly they have also released an inference engine for mini cpm4 which is called as cpm.cu cuda based high speed system and they have also introduced arc infer so basically arc infer is a cross platform deployment system deploy anywhere now you can deploy mini cpm anywhere using arc infer and for inferencing in local system you can use cpm.cu as they have mentioned you can deploy it on cloud servers edge devices mobile phones iot devices using arc infer so it is not it might not be booming up on the benchmarks but it is one of the best models for real world applications i would say talking about the benchmarks also if you look here in terms of speed and performance it's it's just a killer so comparing it with quint 3 8 billion model if it uses 100 tokens mini cpm uses just 22 tokens for that thing so it's crazingly fast tested it on jetson agx or in nano if you know this it's one of the popular embedded system by nvidia it is able to process 32k tokens and 128 token processing both of them are faster by seven times as compared to quen 3 glm4 llama 3 models which are in the same range in terms of benchmark also it is leading on mmlu arc cmlu and c eval on the models in the same range of 8 billion models so this looks to be an efficiency champion speed demon and reasoning master and the best for iot and resources which have no gpu or very less memory you should do try it out and the weights are open source let me show you how to get started they have released the weights on github as well alongside the weights are present on hugging face also it's quite easy just clone the repo they have given the codes there and you can try it out straight away i hope you try out mini cpm4 i will also be trying it out and sharing my experience thank you so much